Jim Baker Show. Coming to you from the village of Morningside, snuggled in the beautiful Ozark Mountains. Today, Jim's special guest, Carl Gallus. Michael Snyder. I'm Zach Drew, along with the Morningside Band. And now, direct from Gray Street at Morningside, here are your hosts, Jim and Lori Baker. to have you here today right. and I want you to welcome our guest Carl Gallup is back thank you. with us today thank you so much and uh, our co host for the day Michael Thanks. Snyder it's one of my Michael. dear dear friends our co-conspirator trying to win the world to Christ that's right amen. that's what amen. we're trying amen. to do amen. <laughs> amen oh my so yeah. much is happening so man. much so much and uh, my uh, co-host here Sasha, welcome back home. Thank she was, you. you we've been, you've been back a few days, but I, I didn't say welcome back. And you were on a holiday, and uh, Zach, you, yes. you had a little holiday. With the holiday, actually, my whole family, we actually went over to Charlotte. Oh, my, yeah, my, my, so my family lives out there. Tell so us we, where your brother pastors. Yeah, absolutely. So he's actually a pastor. There's a, there's a mega church out there in North Carolina in the Charlotte area, pastored by Stephen Furtick. It's over 30,000 people go to this church. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there's about five, if I believe it's right, there's five different campuses. And my brother is the senior pa pastor of the Lake Norman campus. And so his personal church. I know Lake Norman. Yeah, we Lake Norman. Area, yeah. So his church is Lovely averaging Lake. about a little over three thousand people every week. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. So welcome home guys. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations on both to both of you on the sh on your show. Yes. It's ca it's getting I I've never seen a show start any faster than the 700 yeah. Club did. Yeah. But that your show, and it's just gotten rave reviews. Mm -hmm. And every day I read, you know, and I'll give a, a shout out to Charisma. Right. And yes. uh, they've been so kind to us. But Charisma picks up stuff from your show mm -hmm. yeah. every day on their news. And if you're not, if you don't have an app, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Just Charisma News? Uh, yeah, Charisma have... News, that's and, right. And I mean, it's the, it is so good. I read it every day, yeah. probably four or five times a day. You do. But it gives me what's going on in right. the Christian world. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot of Christian media popping up all over. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, that's why I get my news Amen. Amen. from the true news, from the from Absolutely. charisma news, yes. from, yes. from, from uh, our good friend... Uh, Rick Wiles. Rick, Wiles. Rick Wiles. Yes, the true news. Help me with all the other, some of Rick them. Rick Wiles, and, a, and a, one of the places that I go for some good news mm -hmm. is actually Rick Joyner's Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. goodness. Yeah. But I mean, I'll tell yeah. you yeah. what, yeah. you need right. to get truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're living in a day, we just talked as we are going on the air, what's going on right now is insanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're, tr they're, they're trying to blow up America. Politicians want people to riot right now to destroy Trump, to destroy this country. And we've got to find truth. Yes. Because you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that <clears throat> in the last days, mm -hmm. men will be caused to believe a lie. Mm -hmm. Awesome. To Michael Snyder, one of your news stories for months stayed in the top news of America. Isn't that yeah. right? Yeah, Charisma News picks up my stories now. So along with Revelation in the news. Now they can get news from your website. Yeah. How do they get to your house? Well, they people can come to my place on the internet, the economic collapse blog .com, or you just go to Google and type in the economic collapse is the very first result out of millions that come up. And so people can come there and see all of my writing. Also, the most important news.com where all of my articles are gathered in a single place. But uh, yeah, it's the alternative news. Carl Gallops does a great job with his radio broadcast, his podcasting, his YouTube videos have been seen more than 70 million times. We're the alternative media. We're rising. We're challenging the mainstream media with truth. Okay, this is the great moment wow. in history that I want to answer a question for you. Why are all of us preachers getting involved with news? Hmm. Do you guys have any idea hmm. why scripturally we're getting involved? Yeah. Because the Bible says that God does not want the coming of of his son, Jesus Christ, to catch us unaware. That's right. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? That's right. We are, we, yeah, go ahead. He said, look, 
Look up, look around, see. He says, I don't want that day to catch you unaware. That's right. right. And so people are reading about how to get rich, reading about all kinds of stuff, how to grow gardens, which is nice. But what's the thing to do is we need to know what is coming next That's according right. to the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. right. That's right. And it's an exciting hour. It is. Don't you think so, Carl? Oh, I think so. And just a few months ago, we were really praying that this exciting hour might come. That's right. And, uh, and I think that, you know, we were praying for, a, for, a, for a, uh, some breathing room mm -hmm. and for a little more light to shine and for some doors to be opened and a window of opportunity. And I think the Lord has given us that. We shall see. Yes. But we need to, we need to, to take advantage of the light while it's here, right? Right. right. And, I, I, Caleb and Harmony, there's a song called Soon and Very Soon. <laughs> Could you guys do it today? Could you get it ready to go? This is written by one of my dear friends, yes. one of your dear friends. Mm -hmm. Andre Crouch, yes. And soon and very soon, mm -hmm. we are going to see the king. Amen. That's right. And, and we're going to talk about what, you see, Jim, you keep talking about what's all the events. What, what the, it's these events that tells us soon and very soon right. we're going to see the king. Yeah. And it's now. It's now time. That's right. <laughs> and Jesus said in Matthew 24, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached into all the nations. And then the end will come. Yeah. Then the day of the Lord will come. And we're in that, boy, we're in that prophetic period of, of history. The most Can't profoundly prophetic time since the first coming of Jesus Christ. Think you wrote a new book that just came out. Is it When the Lion Roars? Yes, sir. Is that that's, the newest That's my one? latest, I yes. think it is, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is that about? It catalogs the fact of what I just said. We are living in the most profoundly <laughs> prophetic time since the that's first coming I of Jesus it, Christ. Actually. Thank you. God bless you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it catalogs that. And, and, and the book, it just simply says, look, since Israel has returned, mm -hmm. it's been less than 70 years at the time of this filming, think right. about where the world has gone in, in those handful of decades. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, the, the technological explosion, the internet, the worldwide connection, the new Tower of Babel that's yeah. being created right before mm -hmm. our eyes, uh, the Middle East imploding, Arab Spring, mm -hmm. ISIS, Russia's mm -hmm. in the Middle East, China's in the Middle East, Ezekiel 38 nations are making alignments. I could go on and on, the collapse of national borders. And, and, and so, so all of that has happened in just a few decades. Mm -hmm. And it's continuing to unfold at breakneck speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, so what I do here, I, it's a very uh, a simple proposition. I just say, look, what does God's word say? What did Jesus say would be some of the major signs that would accompany the time just before his return? Mm -hmm. Now let's look at what the headline news is saying. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what the, uh, the biotechnical uh, sites are saying. Let's look at what the economic sites are saying. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what the geopolitical uh, newsmakers are saying. Let's look mm -hmm. at the nations. The Bible says, you want to know, God says, you want to know what I'm doing? Watch the nations. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at the nations, Ooh, yeah. what's happening. Look at the upheaval. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so that's what I do. And I started out, Pastor Jim, with five or six Big things in my mind that I knew that were happening and I wanted to write about. By the time the book was over, there's a couple of dozen. I mean, as I went on this journey, mm -hmm. the Lord just kept showing me, don't forget this. Don't forget this. Mm -hmm. This has never happened before in history. See, we're the first generation in the history of the globe to see these things unfold. Not only to see them unfold, but to see them unfold at the same time, concurrently. Yeah, the big thing is that we did not that, uh, the big thing is not that we just elected another president. That's right. The big thing is the king is coming back. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Soon That's and right. very That's soon, right. we right. are really going to see the king. And it's all biblical, it's all Bible. And Israel is God's time clock. Am I right or I not? I think so. I, I surely think you're right. Yeah. And what's going on in Israel right now, good and bad, it is, it's yeah. the signs of the yeah. time. Yeah. And it's now. Yeah. And, and I've preached to this several times with your graciousness here on this show. But, but And I'll just say this very, very quickly. But truly, you, you talked about Israel being t God's time clock. I've said it like this. I think there are big three big booms of prophecy. The first boom was the first coming of Jesus Christ. Because prior to that, the scriptures, that, that was the focus. The coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Christ, the coming of the cross, the coming of the empty tomb, all of that, the first boom. The second boom, though, 
was the return of Israel, the mm-hmm. gathering together of God's people from all the corners of the earth, bringing them back to the land, and then right behind it, the prophecies that said, and when that return to Israel is there, mm-hmm. the nations will begin aligning. Well, we're, we're on the other side of the first boom and just on the other side of the second boom and the third boom of prophecy is the return of Jesus Christ. So how can Israel's return not be a time yeah. clock? Yeah. And yeah. we are situated right. between the second yeah. and the third boom of prophecy. We're right yeah. here. The only generation in the history of the world to be in that specific location and to watch all of these things that I catalog in this book mm-hmm. that, and, and that we're watching on the news every day. Right. We're watching them all happen. They're converging. We're the only generation in history to see this convergence. Mm-hmm. This is huge. Yeah. We're living in the most profoundly prophetic times since the first coming of Jesus Christ. I mean, it looks like Obama today, as I've been watching different things going on in the news, it looks like that he is trying to provoke a war with Russia. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It, is it, can you feel that too? You know, we talked about this before the election. That election really represented national sovereignty wow. or globalism. And here's the thing, folks. Please remember this. Here's globalism the thing. is all about the Antichrist reign. That's people. what I was going to say. I oh, was gonna I'm say, sorry. No, no, no. It's, no, no. I'm saying I'm agreeing with you. Man, this is your show. Don't apologize. <laughs> but I was going to say, Pastor Jim, as I wanted to remind the audience, whatever one thinks, listen, listen, doing business with the world there's nothing wrong with that, provided it's within godly and, and, and national sovereignty parameters. But globalism is a whole different animal. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says, regardless of what we think about this, and regardless of the victory we just won with Donald Trump, who is a national sovereignty kind of guy, mm-hmm. there is coming a generation, there's coming a time when this world will succumb to the globalist agenda for at least, what, seven years. That's true. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. will. And so that's the spiritual war that's happening right now, Pastor Jim, in the oh, heavenlies. Oh, that's what's yeah. happening. Oh. And, they, yeah. and, and the globalists are absolutely infuriated mm. yeah. with what Donald Trump represents, what America represents, and even with what I, Russia represents. Don't you think mm. the church, for the first time in a long time, you're seeing the warfare between good and evil? No. Oh. It's all about it. All, it. I th- everything that's going on right now is good and evil. Um, all the yes. political war. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. They want to kill Trump. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because they want to have sin. That's right. that's they the want to kill line. their babies. <laughs> right. mi- a million women are getting ready to march in Washington, D.C. right after the inauguration so that they can kill their babies. Mm. Who? I'm telling you, people, yeah. give me a Bible. <laughs> if it was in the Bible that King, you know, went and, mm. and killed babies mm-hmm. uh, and, and that the women of the city marched, a million women marched yeah. to the right to kill their own babies. Women don't do that mm-hmm. if it's normal. It's true. Women fight to save their babies. It's true. That's natural. We will be right back after this special message. 